Hey guys. I was stretching and then I didn't realize the camera was on, so you can believe that. Today, we are here at a really nice place, actually. Mm -hmm. It's called Sand Hollow Recreation Area, and it's in, where are we? I don't even know what, we're in Grant County, guys. Grant County, all right? So get that straight. No, I think like the nearest town was like Afreda. Yes. You know what? I will put the name on the screen of the nearest town. My apologies, people. So instead of just mumbling my way through an explanation of where we are, you can see we came from Wenatchee. That's where we came from this morning. And then we are all the way over here, Sand Hollow, near the Wanapum Dam. <laughs> so, I mean, there's not really any towns around here. Like, you got George over here, Quincy. So, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. But this is the Columbia River here. So, we're going to show you that. Here's a bit of a better map of the park. We're actually going to go down here. There's a really nice white sand beach down there. And there's multiple day use areas. And this is all a campground here. And there was nobody there. Literally, it was empty in October and it's perfectly amazing weather out here in the desert. Yeah, you can see they have nice day use areas here. They have fire pits. The only thing that's not cool is the highways there and there's a lot of big trucks, but uh, not something you can't handle. So you can see why it's called Sand Hollow. Like, we're literally walking on a sand dune. Everything here is a sand dune. Fine, powdery sand. And wait till you see this beach out here. You can't get finer sand than this. And then we'll walk over the top of the dunes. There's actually all these little uh, sand lizards. Oh, sounded like there's one right there. So we're gonna search for some of these lizards. And then we're gonna cook down here later. Go back to our car, get our food and cook right down on this beach here. Here's the beach. This is the Columbia River you're looking at here. Just up the road, there's a dam, so that's kind of why it's really wide and calm down here. As you can see, the sand, extremely powdery. Big sand dune. It's nice walking barefoot. Woo! Nice and warm. There's a ton of little uh, clam shells. There's some kind of clams in the Columbia River down here. Feels nice on the feet though. nice over here. I thought it was muddy. Wow. And it's warm because it's so shallow. The water's usually really cold, but not bad. Oh, what? Someone had like a fire pit here. Looks like. Look, there's a circle of rocks here. See if we can catch some of these lizards on camera and eat them after too. The sagebrush is blooming like crazy right now. Ooh, does it smell? Oh, it does actually smell. I, I tried to smell it the other day and it didn't smell, but maybe it has to like open up. Oh, it really smells nice. 
Yeah, so we're literally just walking on one big sand mound. Obviously a part of a river system, part of this river system. Casey said she found some water trickling through here. Ah. Oh yeah. A little bit of a stream flowing out there. I could see some blackberries. Well, Casey mentioned it earlier. You have a ton of blackberries living off that water. It's crazy. Is there any ripe ones? These things are brutal. I know. God, they hurt. Some kind of stabby bush. In Vernon, we don't have those stabby buggers. So we've got antelope brush. Now, a lot of it, like a forest of it. It's fragrant. to see a really nice beach here or something like there's a reason there's a trail here <laughs> let's see can't go that way anymore looks too treacherous ah yes I see a beach that is nice wow it's beautiful it's clear Yeah, we came to a really nice beach here. Really nice and sandy. Hear the voice within calling This heavy load got under your skin Howling You got the white knuckles holding on a tie Keeping your feelings bottled up inside Heading for a collision in the night To really live you gotta die Breathe in, breathe out Hey, come, come, come alive Breathe in, breathe out Look at the colors, colors, colors right. We are going to try to walk back around on the beach here. Suddenly it turned to pebbles. So I was just walking along and I'm like, something just went under this rock and look at it. Hey, wow. What is happening? This frog doesn't even... All right. Got yourself a bullfrog. And he's totally fine with me grabbing him, I guess. Oh, I think he realized what was happening. <laughs> I've never been able to grab a bullfrog like that. That's so crazy. Clams and mussels. No clams. All right, we went back to the car and grabbed our cooking stuff here. We're gonna have lunch right on this beach. Why not? We bought one of these little butane stoves. So it should be nice. Got all our food ready to go. We got some broccoli florets. Good thing we're cooking them. They're defrosting. Mm -hmm. Got some avocado, some steak, and some good cheese. Tillamook. Really good stuff. I'm gonna put the cheese right on top of our steak. Oh yes.
All right, we had a nice relaxing lunch here at Sand Hollow and we're packing it up. We're off to our next destination, which is in Kennewick. And we have another attraction to stop at along the way, but that's for another video. Stay tuned for that. Toodle!